Hi, I'm here to take up the last two. Um, this is a uh, no, the brown. I forget. No, this is the olive green or the black house snake belonging to Richard. She laid, I think, twelve before this, and these are the last two. Come, girl. I don't want her to bite me because they look after their eggs. So she's obviously quite territorial at the moment. But what we're doing. Just get them. You may see her bite my hand. It could be interesting. I don't care. They're not poisonous. Right, I've got them. Now, what needs to happen is within six hours after laying, they need to. You, you cannot. You cannot turn a, a rotate or turn a, a reptile. Well, a snake's egg. Otherwise, it will not hatch. It won't live. Um, so they have to be placed into the vermiculite exactly as they are they're going into the incubator which I had as a kid which Richard now has so we take the thermostat out oopsie, so that we can get the box of vermiculite out now I think Richard said there were 12 in here already so what I'm going to do these two are stuck I'm going to place these on the edge. If you feel the vermiculite now, it's actually really warm and damp, humid. Those are the um, damp, humid conditions. These are what's needed for the eggs to hatch. We're just hoping they're fertile. The male is a lot smaller than her, but it doesn't seem to be a problem in the world of snakes. <laughs> it's often not a problem in the world of human beings either. <laughs> okay, um, let's put them back. There we go. Yeah, okay. They're back in the little incubator. Now what we do is we put the thermostat sensor... Can you see that? Back in again. Okay. But this is the thermometer. Oh, okay. We have a little bit of trouble. It's just over 80 Fahrenheit, which is 28 degrees Celsius. The temperature needs to come down. They're too warm. What we do now... This is terribly, terribly sensitive. We move it.